streaming service. It's more like screaming service when you get the bill. That's right. A new study <laughs> revealing just how much we're all paying to watch our favorite shows. Fox 5's Kendall Green has been crunching the numbers and joins us live in studio to break it all down. Yeah, this is sort of one of those issues of our mm -hmm. time. We thought we were getting something when we got rid of cable, but boy, it's costing us more in the end, isn't it? So much more. Good evening, Steve Natasha. Those who cut the cable cord to save are now cutting their eyes at those costs of streaming. Forbes found nearly half of those they surveyed canceled subscriptions due to those rising costs that, and they aren't going down anytime soon. More options don't always mean more of an advantage when it comes to streaming service. How many uh, subscriptions do you have? Um, around five, I think. Do you know how much you're spending every month? Mm, not really, no. With classic comfort TV shows dominating ratings, paying to catch them is getting a little more uncomfortable for streamers, who instead of channel surfing are doing more subscription surfing. Hulu, uh -huh. Netflix, Disney against my... <laughs> Protests. Okay. With, uh, hold on, there's more. HBO. No, now it's called Max. We had to cut this dad's list short. And as long as it was, he doesn't always watch what he's subscribing to, like scores of other subscribers, even though it comes with a hefty price tag. Probably about 100 a month. Wait, I got to think what else I got. Hold on. We got, I got YouTube TV. That alone is $82.99 a month. What are you doing, dude? How, what? I got rid of cable, though. Forbes Home in One Poll conducted a survey of 2,000 Americans who stream at least an hour daily and found 33% had to create their own streaming subscription account due to stricter service rules. People on average spend more than $550 on streaming a year, and 44% reported increased subscription costs from the year before. Navigating streaming service and surplus is not just hard on consumers, but producers and advertisers as well. If you're an artist, you want to have your, plat your show on the platform that's going to get the most views. What we're wondering in the industry is at what point do they all raise pricing too much to where enough consumers say, okay, I've had it. What do you think is too expensive? Um, more than 13 a month is a little crazy. And this next, next stat makes so much more sense to me now. More than half of respondents in that survey still use streaming services that someone else pays for. And I'll admit, I'm guilty. Stephen and Natasha. But they're um, catching on now. Yeah, they're making so that loophole close by the day. I know, that's Man. right. <laughs> nice to be young enough to get away with that, you two, though. Congrats. Yeah, but it's, still, <laughs> it's not I, that I, great. Not, it's not giving us a pass. <laughs> All right, well, the president can.